Hey guys, Austin over at Terry Hendricks Chrysler again. We're going to review this beautiful 2018 ZL1 Camaro today. Now as we walk around it, it's a phenomenal car. One of 48 made in 2018 in this color. Uh, the ZL1 has started back in 1969 and it started with a 427 big block that was able to be ordered. And it's transformed into this beast. So as we walk around it, you'll see 650 horse. 650 foot-pounds of torque. We'll give you a little peek of the motor. Just phenomenal what GM did with it. See carbon fiber here on the hood. This thing is powered by the LT4. It's a supercharged 6.2 liter. It's got a cast aluminum block, cast aluminum heads. It's all stock. Nothing has been changed, no intake has been changed, completely factory. Now when you take a Camaro like this and you put that kind of horsepower in it, you need big brakes to stop it, suspension to handle it, wheels and tires to control it. So the front is a McPherson strut system, uh, it's got dual lower ball joints, the whole car is functioning by a magnetic ride control system. And what magnetic ride control is, is fluid that fills into the shocks in thousands of times in a second to control the ride and the dampening and things like that. It's got a six piston Brembo system all the way around. You can see those big rollers help it to stop the power. This particular car came from the factory with Goodyear. Eagle F1 supercar tires on it, and now it's got a Michelin Pilot. Still a great tire, great for handling. As we come around back, it has an active exhaust. And I'm gonna hit that button here in just a second because I know everybody loves an exhaust clip. It's got an active exhaust that changes by the driving mode. Now, this car feels like a race car, but when you can control it, it sounds like it. advantages some disadvantages of the interior uh, definitely has a nice Recaro suede racing seat for front and back this car can seat four but comfortably seats two whereas the Hellcat Challenger and Charger both can seat four people pretty comfortably the cool part about this car though is you're not going to see many of them on the road there's not many Z01 there's not many Z01s like I said there's only 40 of these in this color where there's a lot of Hellcat Chargers and Challengers all around. The rear suspension is a five link system. Again, this thing controls very well. It plants to the ground. It has excellent grip. Large spoiler for downforce. It's not the 1LE package, but it is still a phenomenal car. Should we take it down on the road, Austin, and see what it'll do? I think we should. Yeah, we'll take it down and give it a give it a little rip and see what it's what it feels like. Let's let some people uh, experience what the ride's like. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right, guys, we're gonna give you what it feels like to be behind the wheel of this ZL1. Uh, this car at 650 horsepower, 650 foot pounds of torque. It's zero to 60 time is three and a half seconds. Quarter mile time about 11.7 and 127 miles an hour so it's no slouch uh, cornering it'll pull just a little over a full g-force uh, which is pretty phenomenal the one of the fastest cars that pulls the most g-force now is the dodge demon and the bugatti veyron so for this to pull a full g is pretty impressive now we're not going to do that we're going to let that up to you guys as 
we are looking for the buyer to take this car, have fun, and uh, respect it as much as is possible. But we're gonna take this thing out. I've got this in manual mode because that's where, when you get it into sport mode and you shift it on your own, that's where this car really starts to light up. You just hear that supercharger whining. You hear the power underneath and just, just a phenomenal drive. Now I'm six foot one. This car is a little short for me, but not everybody's six foot one. Uh, I mean, I have plenty of headroom, but the visibility is definitely, uh, you know, a little bit of a, a question mark sometimes. But you don't buy these cars to to take your whole family in them and, and take them everywhere you go on the on a daily drive. So. We're gonna just kind of roll into this car, let you hear it, let you see it. Now you're working the paddle shifters yep. at this point? Right now I'm working the paddle shifters. Uh, you can do it a couple different ways. I can switch over and shift it this way. Now the really interesting thing about this gearbox, this 10-speed automatic transmission, is it's supposed to have a quicker upshift on its own without the paddle shifters than the Porsche's PDK system, which if you're a car person, if you, you know in the car world at all, Porsche's gearbox is the best. So for the Chevy General Motors to claim that this car will upshift faster than the Porsche PDK, that's pretty impressive. Now. I'm going to flip it over. We're going to come up to a stop sign. I'm going to flip it over in just fully automatic mode. Currently, we can change the drive modes right here. And uh, we can go from sport, track, snow and ice, and tour. Changes everything. Suspension feel, uh, steering feel, shift points, traction control, all of that. We're going to just put it in sport just for, uh, just for a little bit. And you can see right here in the center. We're gonna give it a, a little little ride in sport. I'm gonna hit it one more time just for everybody to see there. Got it. Okay. So we're gonna go out totally all on the car. Not gonna let the uh, not gonna be any input from me, but we're gonna go out in the car and shifting me through all 10 gears. The car is phenomenal and we're getting ready to go around a corner. A corner is phenomenal. These Recaro racing seats, they just keep you planted. Uh, perfect. You know, they, they don't allow you to move around. They're just such a great side bolster. You feel comfortable in this. Now, back seats, as you can see, those are, those are a little tight back there. Camaros have always had pretty tiny back seats. There's never been uh, much for legroom in the back of a Camaro. My grandma had a 73, and I had to ride to the lake in the back of the Camaro, and uh, I think I needed to go to the chiropractor as a kid after that. See, I've got a 1981 at home, and I don't know if anybody will ever ride in the car with me. That, it's not, not known for uh, being very comfortable. Buy these for comfort. <laughs> so that's that's some of the the main items that I can tell you about this car. Anytime though that we drive these, it's all sound. You know we're on the back country roads, and uh, it's smooth. This car this car does not uh, knock your feelings out of your teeth. I mean we're we're buzzing along. I'm not. I don't have any special camera, and uh, we're not bouncing around all over the place. And uh, well, we're just a couple of miles over the uh, posted speed limit here, and uh, the car just feels fast, Dawson. I mean, it just feels like we're moving. Yeah. And, and we're we're barely above uh, 55. I've sat in a couple race cars. I've never driven a race car. But this is, the, the race cars that I've sat in, this is the closest car I've ever been in that I felt like I was back in a race car. It just
just it just seems like it just wants to be unleashed. I wish we had access to a track and and uh, you know to, to do a little bit more of the paces of what this car can handle. But uh, definitely a phenomenal car. Yeah, a lot of fun. And where if the folks want to see it, where where's the uh, guys, you can see this at Terry Hendricks Chrysler. We're in Archbold, Ohio. Um, you can check us out on the website, on YouTube. We'll post this. Uh, like and subscribe. We have a Z06. Um, we've got a couple Hellcats. We've got a couple SRTs coming in. This stuff is always coming in, coming out. So stay tuned. We'll try to review stuff as it comes in. We have a mid-engine Corvette in right now. We have so, a performance truck, don't we? Yeah, we have a Ram TRX, the, the new uh, Ram that's powered by the Hellcat powertrain so uh, we kind of have a niche we like this stuff and we wanted to show you all about it so hopefully you enjoyed our video if you have any questions feel free to comment in the video and we'll try to answer them and, and help you out in any way possible thanks guys